We have another guest here right now. And he's like, he's clean. He's all cleaned up, all dressed up. You know what I'm saying? You, you are a Detroit Lion fan, Harry? You uh, love the Lions, right? Yeah, sure. Alfie from Abington, our buddy's a big Detroit, a big Detroit Lion, Lion fan. fan. That's right. Yeah. You know who Jason? He's in Philly. You know Jason here, right? Sure. Jason Cabinda from the Detroit Lions. Now you're going to be the MC, so you're you you you're, you're, you're rocking the microphone for this event. You're not coming here and playing in any of these silly skills competition things, man. We'll do uh, we'll do some fun interviews uh, uh, over on the red carpet. I think it's going to be a good deal, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the red carpet. Yeah. That's going to be on Saturday night. Yep. You know, the Saturday the Hall of Fame gets yep. the announcements of all the players. They have the big TV show, the Hall of Fame stuff. So the game. You're also doing the game, right? Yeah, so I'll be doing a commentary on Sky Sports, you know, Great Britain Channel, uh, doing some commentary in between commercials. So. Now we got to put a little British accent on, or you're going to go? <laughs> I might have to. I might have to. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jay Ajay, you know, former Eagle, former NFL player with the Dolphins. He's, yeah. he's British, and he's doing, like, right. eSports now. Oh, really? Is he really? Yeah, I yeah. Know he got involved with eSports. Oh, that's dope. And he's got that great British accent. So they don't, buy, <laughs> they don't mind the Americans doing British games on Sky Network, yeah, do they? Yeah. I don't think so. No, <laughs> because we have, all the, we have all the British guys doing the soccer that sure. we get here from and Sky Sports. And the golf. Sp- and the golf yeah. and Sky Sports. <laughs> so how long have you been doing the broadcasting thing, man? Um, well, I guess I, I first got interested probably my junior year of college. And I Penn got to really, State. Um, Another Penn State yeah, guy? Yeah, there we State go. Guy. Penn State guy. We are, baby. Yeah. We are. <laughs> 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 I, uh, you know, I got a really neat opportunity my junior year of college to co-host this show, basically our live stream that we do for signing day. And, uh, you know, we talk about the recruits, you know, which guys are going to have instant impact. You know, we bring a couple of our coaches on the, on the show, and, you know, we talk about some of the guys. And after I did that co-hosting show with our Go PSU reporter, she turned to me and she was like, you better start focusing on broadcasting because you have got a career in this, seriously. So I was like, all right, maybe I really do need to start, you know, getting serious about it. And then, you know, since then I've been getting, you know, little opportunities and, and, and been expanding myself in it, and I, I really enjoy it, and I think I'd be really good at it. You know, the other guy that we talk about all the time, and he was in the NFL for a long time, a great player too, is Donnie Jones. Yeah. I mean, Donnie Jones went from being a really, really good linebacker in the NFL to transitioning to a broadcast doing all these shows for Travel Channel and right. going around the world and competing in events all over the world yeah, with yeah. people who do crazy sports that we don't do <laughs> in this country. Yeah. And he's still successful. I saw him earlier today. It's, it's amazing, you know, because people think of football players. What do you do? We had Ryan Leaf, you know, he's put his life back together. He's yeah. broadcasting, doing a great job yeah, with yeah. the Pac-12. And so a lot of players don't have that, you know, what I'm going to do next. Yeah. And so when you go to a good school like Penn State, you said you started thinking about it then, right, yeah, when you were absolutely. in college. Absolutely. No about doubt. life after football. Yep, yep. And that's something that my mom just in general has always instilled in me, you know. For her, uh, even when I was choosing my college, she didn't really care about the football program. It was all about the academics, you know what I mean? She's like, all right, what's going to happen when he's done with football? That's what matters to me. So, you know, that, she's always that instilled one, that in me. You know? That's one smart mom. I know. <laughs> well, that's why he went to Penn State. He could have gone right. to Temple he could like we did. Yeah. <laughs> now, Temple's got some good players. Temple's a good program, yeah. man. They're doing a good job Absolutely. there. Man. Now, Tahani Jones, of course, had another talent, too. He's a musician. He played the banjo, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Do you have a hit, another sort of talent that outside of playing football? Uh, I guess you could say I could sing a bit. I, I've yeah? Been told, yeah oh. little, Are you a karaoke a little bit, guy? A little bit of pipes on me, I guess you could say. <laughs> 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 so now who do you like in the game, man? I mean, you're an NFC guy. Whew. East Coast guy. Well, we don't have any East Coast teams. I mean, it's nah. middle of the country and then yeah. San Francisco. I'll tell you what. It, it's This is a tough one to call. Um, what I can say is there are going to be fireworks in this game on both sides of the ball. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of offensive firepower on both these teams. Now, I like the 49ers because I think there's a multitude of ways that they can win. You know, you see them win a game where Jimmy G throws the ball eight or nine times. I mean, you look at that stat and you're like, right. what? You know, you know when they're running the ball that efficiently. Um, but, you know, when I look at the Chiefs, and I don't necessarily like to root for teams that I feel like got to win with Magic, but they seem to consistently win with Magic and Patrick Mahomes. Yep. You see a 24-point comeback in the second quarter of that Houston-Texas game, and you're like, this offense is for real. So, I mean, I really can't count them out, can't count Pat Mahomes out, but if I had to put my money on it, I'd have to go with the 49ers. Well, you played the Chiefs this year, too. Yeah. That yep. was a wild game, if yeah. I remember. It was. Yeah, yeah. a lot of we points We had them on the ropes. That. Yeah. I had and, them on the ropes. And, of course, the one game that Eagle fans go back to is the Eagles losing to the Lions early in the season. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everybody was like, oh, my God. This at, is home. Supposed to, at home. At home. This yeah. is supposed to be a Super Bowl team. Yeah. And you guys went, you know, guys went in there and 
and quieted that crowd down. I mean, as yeah. a Penn State guy, did you grow up? Where, where did, oh, yeah, I was a big Eagles fan. You were a big Eagles, Eagles fan, right? Did Eagles you grow up in the Philly area? Yeah, I'm like literally 30 minutes, probably 40 minutes from Philly. So. What high school did you I'm play? in Jersey, in Central Jersey. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm up really, there, Rawway, up, really up there. Uh, yeah, by Bridgewater, Bridgewater area. Up near yeah. Rutgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, did you think about going to Rutgers? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You got me. They got a good they're basketball team. You got me. Yeah, their yeah, basketball they're team's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, they yeah. have to. And now they finally hired Chiano back yeah, with hired, the football yeah. team, so they got to put that back together again, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. Let, me now you, a, let me ask you a quick question. When you guys played the Packers the first time, and they had those questionable calls, hands to the oh, face yeah, late they got in the game. Screwed. Ugh, I mean, don't even ha- remind me, you guys. Yeah. Man, that was one some of the worst officiating ever. Like, how do you deal with that the following week as a team? I mean, that's tough. I mean, you look around the league this year. I mean, there's a ton of games where the referees had major negative impacts in games. Um, yeah. And I think it's just tough because I feel like we're trying to adjust the game and the rules faster than we can adjust the teaching of how we play the game. Mm. Uh, you look at, you know, these helmet-to-helmet hits and, you know, protecting the quarterback. I mean, there ain't a whole lot of ways you can sack a quarterback without landing with your weight on top of him. You know what I mean? You're not yeah. going to sack him and then mid in the air think about spinning. I mean, that's not really realistic, you know, those kinds of things. So I think there's definitely discussions that need to be had there. Um, but, I mean, it, it's tough. But the rules are the rules. You know, they're taught to enforce what they're taught to enforce. You know, obviously player safety is, is a big thing now, you know, all these new studies with concussions and CTE. So, obviously, you know, you want the players to be safe. But I think there's there, there, needs, to find, there needs to be a better middle ground. Because I think we all know what we sign up for when we play football, you know, mm-hmm. at the end of the day. No, it's, it's impressive to watch guys and get to meet guys, you know, because there's so many players in the league, and I get to meet a lot of them over the years, and I know all the yeah. old school guys, but the younger players. Now, were you on, t- were you on Penn State when Temple be- finally beat you guys? Uh, were you on that team? <laughs> My sophomore year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was at the link. I did that game. <laughs> uh, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> Hackenberg got sacked ten times yeah, in that, that game. Was, that was an ugly yeah. game. Yeah. That was an ugly game. Yeah. I actually – yeah, that was an ugly game. <laughs> <laughs> now, we got a lot of people in Detroit that listen to the show every day. Our buddy Steve, the number one Lion fan. And, and Matt Patricia, people were down on him in Detroit early in the year, weren't they? But, yeah, you know, I, I mean, you played for m- multiple coaches. Yeah. And then people immediately were like, oh, Matt Patricia, maybe he's not ready for this. But things calmed down, and there's there's no issue there with his coaching staff, is there? Yeah. No, no, there isn't. You know, and, um, you know, Matty P's a really, really smart coach, and the reason why I love him is because there's so many coaches who will try to put a square peg in a round hole now. He's the kind of guy who evaluates his personnel, sees what he has, and adjusts the scheme to make sure that we're able to execute and we're able to do the things that he's asking of us, which a lot, not a lot of coaches do nowadays, um, which I think is really important. But I think when you look at the season overall, you look at the games that we lost, you know, there's 10 games there that we lost with, I think, three points or less. Mm-hmm. Six of those games, we have fourth quarter leads. So I think the theme going into next year really is just finish because we're really just one or two plays away in all of those games. So. And I'm thinking about betting the over in the season win totals for the Lions next yeah. year. <laughs> and a bunch of those games were without your starting quarterback. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? And, you know, we yeah. had a lot of yeah. injuries. I mean, so there's more to the tale, you know, when you really look at it past just the record, you know. No, and I looked at the Lions season and you saw the injuries and I'm like, well, this team's hanging in there, man. Yeah. You know, they weren't quitting. Yeah. Because you'll see teams with – Things go wrong. You like oh, the yeah. Eagles. You know the Eagles lost so many players. They're playing right. with practice squad guys yeah. down the stretch, right. Right. and they were able to win the last three games. And people, oh, this is the schedule. It doesn't matter. You got to yeah. win those games. No Dallas doubt. didn't take advantage of the situation. Right. The Eagles did, and they had to go through the injury thing. Right. And guys had to stay together, or yeah. else you're shot. And that's what you guys did. Yeah. Now there's no doubt about it. I mean, this is definitely the most mentally tough team of. of played with you know, in my career you know no doubt about it we went through a lot from an injury standpoint you know guys getting asked to do different things maybe than they had never done but there was no selfishness you know we we're very selfless you know everybody just wants to win in that building so defensively you know facing Patrick Mahomes what's what's the biggest key to just sort of containing him keep him in the pocket yeah this guy gets out of the pocket <laughs> and you let this thing turn into backyard football <laughs> With that kind of speed, you're in trouble. I mean, it's just the truth. Um, So I think having a level rush, not rushing behind the quarterback, you know, keep him in the pocket, making him throw from a phone booth, that's number one. Now, the dude's got arm talent. He can throw in a phone booth, but you've got to limit it, you know. Uh, You can't let him extend plays and start to play like that because once he plays like that and the confidence goes up, the Chiefs – Then he's on the schoolyard. Then they can just – they get going, you know. Once the confidence goes up, now you're in trouble, you know, so. He starts throwing no-look passes and stuff, you know. I mean, (laughs) seriously. I mean, you look at at some of the the things that this guy is doing and there's just stuff that we haven't seen in football games. I've never seen a no-look pass 
until this guy. I mean, seriously. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, well, I did it in a schoolyard, but you yeah. know, we, we didn't have to worry about it. In South Philly, you know, we playing on a, on an asphalt parking lot. You could do no look passes because you know, nobody cement. cares yeah. as long as you don't fall and hit. You know, get your torn your up your elbows with, yeah, with yeah. asphalt and broken <laughs> bottles. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, uh, man, man, it's really been an honor to meet you, Jason. You're really, really a yeah. sharp young man, and I, right. you got a future, man. Thank you, man. I don't I mean, not, 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 I'm not just He's talking about talking football. about broadcasting. Yeah, 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 yeah because I mean, I'm not a football scout. I know good, I know good players, but yeah. you know, I haven't met you, haven't seen the, your stuff, man. Yeah. I, and people are impressed. They're watching us on Twitch here. Are you going to the Snoop Yacht Party later on tonight? Yeah, I actually am. Are oh, you really? we're going to see you there. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. We'll be there, man. Cool. Awesome. I'm one of the VIPs there, man. Come and on, we, man. we have <laughs> fabulous parting gifts from our sponsors. I know. Ghost I leaves, got, man. I got, I got oh, me some Oh, he's got them right here. Right. Ghost leaves right I'm there. Are those not fabulous? It's Did all you? about kinesiology and compression <laughs> combined, man. That You got it all in one. Yeah, I know. I know. This, this looks legit, man. Because really you does. guys get taped up, you know, now. Yeah, yeah. And guys wear sleeves. Yeah. But this is revolutionary because now you got the compression and the kinesiology. Harry was a kinesiology major, I think, <laughs> at Franklin and Marshall. Uh, no, now, where did you that go? was at Shippensburg, Shippen and then I flunked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know what? We also have some fantastic party gifts for your mother. Really? And if, I don't, do you have children yet? Are not you married? Yet. You do seem like you're I'm way too married. young to have children. 23. But, but if you're, <laughs> well, that's not too young. If you're a five-year-old like Tony is, um, um, they're, well, even for adults, it's fantastic. Um, we have coral organic toothpaste and it's tremendous. It's all natural. facial products that are uh, Nicole Sheridan's facial products. They are absolutely amazing. We're going to give you a package. Nobody's uh, got take. swag like we no. do because this is quality organic top-notch and, stuff. And the man. Tony Bruno Show on Radio <laughs> Row is brought to you by CoralToothpaste.com, BioLumiere organics.com and fabulous ghost sleeves ghost sleeves.com this is the future everybody can wear them now not just athletes you know not just golfers everybody can wear this compression stuff and the kinesiology yeah. whether you're playing pickleball as a yeah, six-year-old yeah. young people since play you're pickleball planning on doing too. broadcasting you need to keep your face no. Oh, he's cool. clean now, man. So, he's young. Oh, now, you know, you know black don't crack now. You know, right, I, I see anti-aging cream, but I ain't going nowhere. No, no, no. no. You got to stay moisturized. You got to have, you know, you don't want to be ashy on TV. Yeah, yeah. Michael, Michael, Irvin, Michael Irvin taught me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was going out in California working with him, he said, Tony, you're getting ashy down there. Like, you know, you're white, but you can get ashy, too. Right, right. You got to moisturize. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> At Jason Capindo on Twitter. Too. Yeah, at oh, Jason Capindo yeah, yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. You on Instagram too, yeah, man? Yeah, on Instagram yeah. too. Is it the at, same thing? Yeah, just at Jason Capindo. It's my name. At uh, Jason Capindo. Penn State, we are. There it is. We are, baby. Temple strong. No, I'm sorry. No, no, we, no. we were for a while, and then Temple lost. Penn the State's game. basketball is good now, too. Uh, are they really? Yeah. We're ranked, oh, yeah. I think we're 23 right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're I was up, there man. the day they opened the new uh, center up there. It's oh, not new anymore. When Penn State. BJC? Yes. Oh, wow. I was working for ESPN, and they sent me up to do a TV special. Uh, not a special, but a piece on the Bryce Jordan yeah. Center and the rebirth of Penn State basketball because that's oh, what absolutely. really put them back on the map yeah. for a couple yeah. of years. And then they went back then into the toilet and the pack, you know, because you can't. It's Penn State. <laughs> well, Jason, you got to focus on football. Jason's being really nice to us right now, but he has to go All because right. he has to get ready for the network show. So yeah. exactly, there you go. He's get to a the press conference. Baby. Great, to, great to meet you, man. Thank you so much. Oh, Good thanks luck, for having man. me on, man. I it was awesome. It. I we definitely want to have you on again. Definitely, yeah. get your I'm here info. tomorrow. So. Okay, sweet. Beautiful, man. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together. Give him a roaring round of applause. He's number 53 in your program. <laughs> He's the number one in your heart. Exactly right. Jason, good job, bro. Thanks, man. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs>